Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you guys are here. Welcome in and welcome back as always. We appreciate you. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on Hotel CISO by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Before I get started, I wanna welcome everybody in. If you're new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos of mainly shaving products and skincare products. I take a deep dive look at the products uh, from the label to the packaging to the soap itself and then give you my first impressions and then we learn from the artisan um, uh, off their website and basically learned uh, the inspiration for the scent and also the scent notes and so or any other information that we have um, regarding the scent and the the goal of this video or all, all of my videos is to um, one, just raise awareness of what's out there and then two, um, just give you a better idea or at least more insight onto the product um, and uh, or about the product and uh, you know hopefully that'll help uh, give you a better idea of what it is and maybe it's something that you were interested in getting and wanted more information or uh, maybe you had never heard of it and um, you wanted to take a look and maybe look into purchasing it or uh, passing on it so Anyway, um, that's pretty much what I do. And for those of you that are returning and are subscribers and are regular viewers, um, I appreciate you so much. You guys are what make this channel what it is. And uh, as always, you're just simply sexier and better and you know it, and I know it. And so anyway, let's get cracking here, folks. I'm really excited about this. Hotel CISO uh, is one of the scents where the, um, there is a lot of merchandise on PAA for this um, scent. And so um, I don't know when it was released, but it was definitely um, one of these scents that was very, very um, highly um, marketed by uh, PAA. So first off, Hotel CISO, I am familiar with this hotel. Uh, just had watched a documentary um, on Netflix, uh, if you I don't remember what the name is, but basically, um, Hotel CISO was, um, yeah, had some a lot of weird stuff happening there. Um, someone had died inside the water catchment tank on the roof. I mean, it's um, people were drinking the water of the from the body decomposing. It was, yeah, it's it's something to watch. Um, it's basically a hotel in Skid Row in Los Angeles, and um, yeah, really, really um, weird things happen at this hotel. So anyway, here's a look at the label, and you got a picture of a man falling, and that's basically I think what ties into that is uh, of um, a man fell into somehow fell, and um, there's no. Uh, rhyme or reason how that person got there uh, but anyway it says high strangeness artisan shape so so I really really encourage you to um, read up on Hotel CISO and um, it's very cool that they are doing this so you have the flying saucer as always there's the alien it's a shave the world you have the cube as always and then you have the hotel in the back and this guy we look at his reaction he's just falling he's in his pajamas very very interesting anyway it's pretty straightforward label CK6 let's take a look at this pour oh what is this from shadowy shapes to get away from our fire escapes, Hotel Cecil, enjoy your stay. Guests throw themselves from our fire escapes. <laughs> oh, I see. To get away from shadowy shapes, guests throw themselves from our fire escapes, Hotel Cecil, enjoy your stay. Very cool. Very nice pour. Very nice pour. Some nice peaks. And I love CK6. All right, let's do our first smell. 
Oh, okay. So this has um, a slight cologne scent to it. It's got bright notes of, um, God, what is this? Um, so there's definitely citrus in here. Uh, I, I pick up some musk. I really like this scent. It's got musk for sure and citrus. That's kind of the gist I get. This actually smells good. All right, let's read from the website. Very interested. This could be a long one, folks. All right. Um, so, scent profile talc, cardamom, vanilla, tonka bean, kephalus, sandalwood, cedar nutmeg black pepper oak wood and oak moss huh i had a really i guess it's the talc that gave me and with the moss gave me this kind of musky uh you know essence it smells good um So from the website, it really just goes into detail about Hotel CISO. It's quite long. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna read it, folks. It's 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 super long. Um, they talk about Burma Shave. You know what? It's not that long. I can actually read it. It's It seemed longer than it was, but it's not. Um, so it says, yeah, so this will only be a couple of minutes, folks. Um, but this is very important. I think it, it's very cool that if you never, if you don't know about what, uh, what Hotel CISO is, um, um, this will give it to you. Though often overshadowed by their now historic creative marketing that really burned itself into the collective consciousness of America, the scent of Burma Shave in its own right is quite iconic too, if not more so. Warm, powdery, clean, spicy, masculine, and nostalgic. A scent so classic and epic we couldn't sit by any longer and see it lost to time. Sure, the signs, rhymes, and history of Burma Shave is the stuff of legend, but the scent is equally so and should be celebrated as such. I can't fathom anyone not immediately falling in love with this fragrance. Seriously, there's just something so pure, wide-eyed Americana and forever innocent about this stuff. And that may just be the reason for this ultimate Halloween mashup paradox of good and evil, dark and light, heaven and hell, Bwahaha. lightning crashes. You may turn off the Vincent Price voice now. <laughs> so this is actually a Burma shave um, dupe. Interesting. All right, parallels and paradoxes. Make no mistake, I do not exaggerate when I say that this may be our most mind-blowing homage yet. Like a madman, I chose to do a joint homage to two American icons simultaneously. Burma shave and then the Hosiso Hotel. The CISO is possibly one of the most haunted hotels in the United States, if not all of the world. Typically, Fran and I have always done original scent blends for our fall and Halloween releases, but this year, 2020, has been... Okay, so this was released Halloween 2020. Um, has been anything but typical, so I thought I would reflect that anxious spirit into something untypical. Having an interest in all things paranormal and all things wet shaving, it really just made sense. But would it be possible to cobble together these two opposing forces? I was certainly up for the challenge. No, there's also a tip of the hat to Nikola Tesla in our story, who just so happened to have lived most of his life in hotels, even died in one. Fun fact, Tesla would only stay in rooms with numbers divisible by three. Wow. Burma Shave or Burma Vitae uh, represents life and sun. Heck, Vitae in latin actually means life whereas the cecil hotel to many symbolizers 
um, something or symbolizes something very much the opposite. Believe it or not, they were both born in 1924. Wow. It's true. Construction of the on the Cecil Hotel actually began in 1924. And in that same year, the version of Burma Shade that would eventually go to market was formulated. 1927 was also a big year for both. The CISO opened its doors and Burma Shave started one of the most successful marketing campaigns of all time. Also, being a hotel for traveling businessmen and Burma Shave being marketed as a quicker, more convenient brushless shave cream, a favorite for the man on the road, it would be silly not to think they never crossed paths. One might also imagine the guests of the CISO passing many a Burma Shave sign en route to this dark destination. For those that are too young to remember, Burma Shave was not known, well, I mean, was known not only for their innovative brushless shave cream, but also, and possibly more so, for their clever roadside verses. But don't misunderstand me, these were not billboards, but small red signs positioned on the roadside 100 feet apart from each other. Each of the signs were part of a larger jingle, and all ended with the last sign reading Burma Shave. No one ha had really ever seen anything like this before, and it immediately caught on with the public. You couldn't not read the chart. Cheerful, always funny, even sometimes a little risque signs. In short, Burma Shave did things differently, and that kind of thinking I really appreciate. I should also mention, after the popularity of their brushless shave cream, one company after another popped up trying to get in on the market but no one could really touch the magic of Burma Shave. On the opposite end of the spectrum, the Cecil Hotel was built off of Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles. Granted, this was in the mid-1920s, but, but still within a couple of years, it was emerging as a location of many strange, unexplainable deaths and paranormal occurrences. It is said that someone has died in all 700 rooms. Wow. It can also boast that two serial killers in the midst of their killing sprees were living there. Even the Black Dahlia is rumored to have taken her last drink at the hotel bar before her shocking end that made world news and is still talked about to this day. Fun fact, the Cecil Hotel does not have a 13th floor. Reasons for omitting a 13th floor include triscade phobia on the part of the building's owner or builder or desire by the building owner or landlord to prevent problems that may arise with superstitious tenants, occupants, or customers. Note, the 14th floor was the last floor Elisa Lam was seen on via that infamous elevator security cam. That's the video on YouTube, folks. I mean, sorry, on Netflix uh, that you need to watch. Like, it's crazy. Anyway, back. We have just a few more paragraphs. As recently as 2013, the Cecil or Suicide Hotel, once again was in the news. Canadian tourist Elisa Lam's body, after being reported missing for three weeks, was pulled from one of the water towers on top of the hotel. The body was only discovered after hotel guests reported the foul water coming out of their taps for over two weeks. They had been drinking it, cooking with it, brushing their teeth with it, and yes, bathing in it too. And this is just the tip of the creepy iceberg when it comes to the high strangeness that the Cecil Hotel is known for. I encourage you to dig a little deeper into it. The Alyssa Lamb story is quite a doozy, I promise. Though in real life it, it is dubbed the Cecil Hotel, in our alternate Phoenix shaving universe, it exists as the Hotel Cecil. That said, they are not so different, and you will see that you that as you delve into the most recent continuation of our ongoing saga, so he goes, I began with the artwork. The first of the things I had to obviously connect were the classic Burma Shave-esque sign we can all see in our mind with the spooky ominous facade of the Cecil. This, however, is more of a for those who have eyes to see type tribute. Honestly, I was hoping even if these two images juxtaposed didn't immediately jump out at the viewer or initiate, it would at least strike a vibratory chord at a subconscious level. Next, it was really all about sprinkling the DNA of both into the story as well as some of the Easter eggs in honor of other classic horror writers and even our very own Halloween special from season one of I'd Lather Be Shaving. Can you spot them all? Truth be told, this whole project was a complete blast from product development and concept to the ephemera included. Both Fran and I are very proud of it. 
Also, this is maybe the first story I actually wrote within the saga that has an ending. All in all, I promise you, there are many layers to this one. And with every reading and rereading, you're sure to see something you didn't pick up on the first time. It took us many years to develop such a strong, supportive following that would allow for us to get as experimental and innovative as we have. And I thank you all. Since day one, I have always said Phoenix shaving is more than just shaving. This confused more than a few who were really just looking for soap. Even made some suspicious, laughing out loud. But I knew one day if we kept at it, we'd find the others. Thank you all again for getting it. Wishing you a safe and happy Halloween. Wow. This is PAA, guys. This is PAA. Oh, unreal. All right, let's take a look at the aftershave. That was amazing, wasn't it? All right. No orifice reducer. This is my lucky day. Mmm. It smells so good. So this is an homage to Burma Shave. To me, it came across as a kind of citrus in the musk, but obviously it's a, um, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like a moss with talc and vanilla and talcamine. It's really good, sandalwood, cedarwood. Uh, but yeah, this is something I would wear definitely out. Um, it's really nice. It's so it's a really good, um, I would say, vintage standard um, uh, soap and aftershave. So I knew this was gonna be a long one, folks. And if you're still here, um, you're a real one. I tell you, you are a real one. I appreciate you so much. As always, let's lift up each other and. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, peace and aloha.